The long winter nights can dampen even the merriest of moods, which is why I love holiday lights that cut through the darkness. From candles in the window to extravagant neighborhood displays, holiday lights do a lot to bring cheer to the long dark winter. You can bring a bit of that cheer inside your own home by putting a modern twist on the paper chain. Today, we're making a paper lights garland. Let's check it out. Hi there. I'm Michelle with the Gosstown Public Library where I'm an adult services librarian. Welcome or welcome back to our library. We are so happy to have you here today as we make a paper lights garland. Here are all the supplies you'll need. 15 paper strips that are 12 inches long by one and a half inches wide. Five of these strips should be in black or gray or a neutral color. The remaining 10 can be in any color that you choose. A length of twine that is four feet long. This can also be string, yarn, ribbon, or even a shoelace. A pair of scissors, a hole punch, and some tape. To get started, grab your black pieces of paper. Take your black strip of construction paper and fold it in half. Now using scissors, cut the strip in half at the fold. Set aside one half to, for use for later. Now with one half in the front of you, you're gonna fold the strip three times in half. So that's one, two, and three. When you unfold the paper, you'll be left with eight folds. Now, using the folds from that previous step, crease the strip so each fold bends in the same direction. While you do this, you'll notice the paper naturally bends into a loop. You can see that loop right there. To close the loop, touch two rectangles overlapping by one. Secure with some tape. Punch two holes in opposite sides of the loop. One. and two. Set aside this black strip of paper for a minute. Now fold one colored strip in half. Punch a hole through both ends. Pinch the ends that you just punched with your fingers so the fold is facing down. Push the fold against a flat surface until your pinched fingers also touch the surface. Crease either sides at their natural fold and your result should look a bit like a teardrop. Top the colored strip with a gray slash black loop, whatever you chose, so the punched holes line up. Thread the piece of twine through all four holes. And repeat those steps until you have 10 light bulbs. My favorite part was stringing all the lights onto the twine because you can make some really fun patterns with the colors. Another great thing about this craft is that the light bulbs remain movable so you can space them out however you'd like. A good estimate though? Three to four inches.
And there you have it, a beautiful paper lights garland that you can use to make your home merry and cheerful. Where would you hang this garland? And what kind of holiday lights do you like in your home? Leave a comment below to get the conversation started and leave any tips and tricks that made you successful when you made this craft. As always, don't forget to like and share this video if you got something out of it and don't forget to subscribe either. This channel has crafts for all ages as well as book talks, teen life hacks, author events, and more. Pretty much all the programming that you love from your library is available on this channel anytime you want it. Subscribing makes sure you never miss a video. I'll be back soon for another how-to video, but in the meantime, you can connect with the Goffstown Public Library on our social media, or you can visit goffstownlibrary.com to see what we're up to. Again, I'm Michelle for the Goffstown Public Library, and I'll check you out later. Bye!